here for wedding DIYs? Well, you're in the right place. Hey guys and welcome. Have you ever wondered how to make massive DIY wedding signs with your Cricut? Well, today I'm gonna show you how to make ones just like this. This seating chart display I made for a wedding in Beaver Creek, which you may have seen on shows like Real Housewives. Cameron Prescott actually owns a house here along with other A-list celebrities like Tom Hanks and Kelsey Grammer. So to go with such a famous place, we need a fabulous way to welcome guests to the Slopeside wedding. Enter the seating chart display. This setup welcomed guests into cocktail hour, and it consisted of three greenery hedge walls, two with wood holders for the champagne glasses, and one with just greenery for the seating chart. Although this would also work really well with a DIY copper stand though, which I have a tutorial for linked below. As always, the full supplies list is located in the video description along with a discount for all of the fonts shown today. So for projects like this, we first need to determine the size of the hedge wall. The rental companies near me all have different sizes, so I figure out first the sizing of the hedge wall, then I create a mock-up like this in Canva, including the wall and the acrylic, so I have a better idea how it will look all together. Here are the two different sizes I have worked with. And moving on to Cricut Design Space where I designed the sign demo, this is how it looked when I sent it to the client for final approval. The acrylic sheet is a 36 by 60 and for my local plastic store, and I am always able to order the exact size needed down to the millimeter. Now that I'm ready to start my project, I remove my placeholders and weld all of my lettering together. This part can take some time when you're designing a Cricut Design Space, especially with a big project like this. Since my Cricut can only cut up to 11 and a half by 23 and a half, I create a box the same size, changing the color to white, and I multiply that so I have plenty on hand. I then use these to figure out the best way to cut my larger than matte project. For this one, it made more sense to turn the box 90 degrees and slice it up that way. Once I position my box behind my lettering, I start slicing the design so each piece will fit on my Cricut Maker. And you know how we just welded everything in place? That is so the design will stay perfectly in place so whenever I slice and cut the vinyl, my spacing will all still be perfect. One thing I've noticed now that I've made a few of these, it's easier to piece together and align everything if you are able to include multiple tables together or at least a few names from the next table like I did here. Now that everything is ready to cut on my Cricut, I set it to premium outdoor vinyl and I cut everything at once. So I have plenty of mats on hand so I'm able to cut everything at once, then weed everything at once. I just like working in sections with large projects like this. With such a large sign, I did have this on my dining table first, but my vantage point was not great since I was so close to it. So I found it easier to work on the floor. So I vacuumed my office really well and laid down a couple rolls of paper since these acrylics can attract dust in the air. I drill holes in my acrylic, which I do have a full tutorial for just how to drill holes without getting cracks in your acrylic. Um, I will make sure to leave that down in the video description as well. Um, so I do that, I drill both of the holes and then I peel the protective layer off both sides of my acrylic. 
I get everything about in the spot that I think it needs to go. And then I like using a large sewing mat under my acrylic to help align and center my decals. The large one I have just happens to be the same width of my acrylic, so it works out perfectly. But if you don't have one of these, you can use a measuring tape like in my older tutorials. Then using the hinging method to apply each decal, I start at the top and work my way down. The hinging method is a really easy way to apply decals while keeping them in place, so it's perfect for a project like this when we are piecing together a bunch of decals. And in the supplies list, I include everything for making DIY wedding signs, including my current Cricut machine, the vinyl, transfer tape, the large sewing mat, even the masking tape, and the wire for hanging these. So hopefully that saves you some time with locating all of those items. I didn't get a video of hanging these in the greenery hedges, but I basically take the wire from the supplies list, loop it around the drilled hole in the acrylic in the top of the hedge wall. Usually these have nails or a wood backing to secure them to. 
Thank you so much for supporting my channel and checking out this DIY wedding tutorial. Please let me know any questions that you have in the comment section and I will see you again soon.